Welcome everybody, I'm the Dr. Bob Lee and you are watching Open. It's that live interactive program that brings the Bronx and New York City straight to your TV set. You can stay connected through social media at BronxNet TV. We've got a fantastic show lined up for you. You don't want to miss it. We're going to eat, we're going to break bread, we're going to talk about it at least and let you know where you can do all of that. Our first guest is the founder of the Bronx Night Market. He joins us today to speak about the latest events that the Bronx Night Market has coming up in the spring to highlight the newest food vendors. Uh-oh, we're gonna talk about it. And we can also look forward to uh, lots more. He's right here. <laughs> and we look forward to talking to him. He's no stranger to the show. Please welcome Marco Shalma. Marco, welcome. Thank you, sir. Thanks for having me. I appreciate you. Now, Marco, um, of course we do the night market and everything, but what have you been doing to prepare for uh, what's coming? Because I think you, you shut down for a little while, but then you open it up in the spring, right? Yeah. First of all, I want to say thank you for having us over here. You know, like uh, we, 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 it's becoming a little bit of a tradition that, you know, we yeah. come on the Dr. Bob Lee show and this is kind of like, that's how we know the season is going to be great. When we have like that kind of like stand off from you. So I appreciate you. Thank you so much for Bronx Net for having us over here. Um, you know, we've been working, our season ends in November, and then we start, you know, we're going back to the drawing board and thinking, like, what can we do next year to top what we've done the year before that, you know? And if you remember, we were the only one in New York City to be open in the beginning of the pandemic, like, yeah. you know, of fall and winter 2020, and then in the beginning of spring. Even though it was very challenging, you know, with permits and whatnot, but we did that because our community needed something. They needed something to kind of, needed to be out there, needed to do what they needed to do. Um, yeah. This year, we're taking it to a different level, Dr. Bob. You know, what we, are we, we going to do? What are we going to do? Tell us about oh, it. What are we going to do? So, so what we've decided, we've decided to kind of pick it up a notch and turn it into like a full scale festival. I'm talking about the big stage. I'm talking about live musical performances, then performances. I'm talking about 20% more food and merch vendors from yeah. any other year. We're talking activation, giveaways, um, small business incubator. We're talking about like vegan food. We, we had like a little stand and a partnership with Bronx Eats to do like uh, educational vegan food, uh, kids playground. It's going to be bananas. It's going to be only once a month. It, on opposed to it, it, uh, it being a, a weekly, but it, it's going to be a party. We, we can't wait to have you over there, Dr. Bob. Yeah. Oh, we got to come up and eat up all of your food, you know. <laughs> hey, what are some of the new vendors that uh, we have uh, to look forward to? So obviously, that, you know, obviously we're going to bring the, the, the good and all familiar. You know, there's certain vendors that if we don't yeah. bring them, no matter what, uh, you know, the, the, you know, the borrower is going to kind of look at us like funny. Yeah. Uh, but we are, we have, I think we have this year a rotation of 20 to 25 different food vendors that are more in the, what we call the food porn experience, stuff that you see on Instagram and TikTok yeah. and not necessarily have accessible in, in, uh, in, uh, in, uh, in the Bronx, you know, we're talking about like artisanal Mexican style uh, sausages. We're talking about food on a stick, like, you know, uh, chicken waffle on a stick. We're talking about different Asian cuisine, a uh, new type of Jamaican and Caribbean cuisine. I I'm salivating right now just thinking about I all this. I food. am too. I am too. You know how it works. <laughs> And, and, you know, and, and also the merchandise, you know, uh, so this year we kind of pick it up and ask, uh, with the level of the merchandise and, and upgrade it into like our art and culture stuff, you know, where it's more like artisanal goods, you know, people that make, create their own stuff, anything from like fashion, accessories, uh, different body care products. And it's just going to be a crazy, amazing season. And I can't wait to share all that goodness with the Bronx. Wow. And it's going to be at the same location, right? So yes, you know, and I'm gonna I'm gonna drop something over here because because you know we we have such a great relationship over here. So it will be at Fordham Plaza uh, every last Saturday of the month, beginning with the last Saturday in April, which is April 30th, and then every last Saturday of the month. But this year we have something special. We will announce soon when we do like a pilot, like a pop up pilot going and taking the entire full scale of the Bronx night market into uh -huh. various and different neighborhoods in the Bronx in rotation. We wanted to bring the experience to more Bronx side. We wanted the more Bronx side to identify with what we do for the borough and support of small businesses and also give shine to those other neighborhoods. So 
it's, it's going to be exciting. Marco, I heard you use, while we were talking, I heard you use the word rotation twice uh, in reference to the food vending. Um, so on locate, what, what does that mean? So as far as the food vendors rotation, because we have so many vendors, we have over 300 vendors, we can only fit about 50. So we make sure that ah, the gotcha. process has a rotation of different vendors uh, throughout the year. When it comes to the location rotation, we're talking about taking the show on the road. So basically like taking the Bronx night market and, and, and going into changing places. We're talking about by Yankee Stadium. We're talking about Soundview. We're talking about Throgsnake. We're talking about yeah. uh, Cambridge. Uh, all these places, we want, we will start periodically to show up and do like the full blown scale of the Bronx night market festival, just to be able to kind of connect with more of our residents. I'm sure the vendors would love that, right? Because they don't have to wait for that rotation to come around. They can just be booked out to those different places. Exactly. And it, and it makes sense on all level for the vendors, for the community, you know, for the Bronx in general. And I tell you, like, you know, we've been working with, uh, the, you know, the new borough president, uh, Ms. Vanessa Gibson, and the council member as well. Give a big Felipe. hug and a kiss for me, will you? Hey, anytime, man. Um, and then, you know, and the Bronx delegation to find ways to make the Bronx night market the first, you know, out of the, all the boroughs, the first really like a night market and a festival that is like for the community, yeah. with the community activation. So, you know, there's a lot, there's a lot to look forward to, man. And we are, we are the, my, the team and I are so, so excited. This is going to be, for me, in, in my book, is going to be the best year ever for us. Are you going to have a big kickoff or something like that? Uh, any events coming up that we should uh, look forward to? Like like that, you know, it could be a grand opening of uh, the night market or something like that. Do you, are you planning something like that? I don't know. Absolutely. So April 30th, that's April uh, 30th. opening day. Yeah. And, you know, like, like any other opening day when it comes to, like, you know, baseball or football or whatnot, we're going to go all out on April 30th. You know, we're talking yeah. about... Uh, the most the most luxurious uh, lineup of musical performances and dance performances, the best the best of the best of the food item that we can get, uh, a ton of activation, a ton of uh, in, uh, engaging engagement activities for the entire family, from the kids to the to, you know to the older generation. Uh, it's just going to be spectacular, and we have a bunch of special mm -hmm. guests coming in, giveaways, raffles, you know, you name it, we have it. There you go. I'm loving it already. You know, every time we get together and we speak, I, I, I envision like a big plate of food. And I want to do that, that food tour. Just go around and taste from every vendor or something like yeah, that. You, you have to come over. I'll be, I personally will take you around and kind of show you around to the food vendors. We can be sneaking behind the line, but don't tell anybody I told you. you know? <laughs> I won't tell anybody. We'll just make it happen. All right. Exactly. I have another thing that I wanted to kind of drop and say if you don't, if we have a few more seconds. You got 30 uh, seconds. So this year we are working with the with the borough president, the council member, and the Bronx delegation to possibly bring something to the Bronx that I've been working on for the last four years. You know, when I see Union Square and Bryant Park having this uh winter village, you know, when they come in the winter and the holiday season and they do the big tree and stuff like that. We want that in the Bronx, and this year is looking closer yeah. than ever. And you know, anybody that follows us in at Bronx Night Market, you know, will give some more information about this. And we're going to bring a winter village to the Bronx this year, and it's going to be spectacular. That sounds good to me. Hey, give me a website before we uh, before we cut out. Bronx, here. it's just straight up BronxNightMarket.com. You know, wow. and, and our and our Instagram is at Bronx Night Market. Marco, thank you so much, man. We love you. Thank you for doing this. And thank you for all you Thanks do. For me, yes. I'll Marco see, Sharma, he's the founder. Yeah. Marco Sharma, he's the founder of the Bronx Night Market. Make sure you check him out. We all are going to go down there and just, uh, there it is right on the hat. <laughs> love you, man. Thank you. I appreciate you. All right. We'll take a break. We've got more open coming up next.